May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and in Illinois, we are still coming to grips with the devastating effects of untreated mental illness and addiction. To make progress, we must continue to reduce the significant stigma surrounding these conditions that prevent people from getting the help that they need. Even as an appellate court justice, I can see the impact of untreated mental illness and addiction in our court system every day. According to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, jail inmates are five times more likely to have a serious mental illness than the total general adult population. The American Psychiatric Association reports that there are two million incarcerations of someone with a mental illness each year. Too many people who simply need treatment and basic support services instead end up in our criminal justice system, at a far higher cost to taxpayers and society. Stigma is the accomplice to this injustice. To help raise awareness and combat harmful stigma, the Kennedy Forum Illinois is encouraging people from all walks of life to put mental health and addiction on the table by holding conversations with families, friends, or co-workers on these subjects on May 8th or any other day in May. In the last three years, over 7,000 people have been touched by this initiative, and a majority of participants report their perspective changed following the conversation. One conversation can alter someone's outlook forever. These conversations are an essential part of the fight to save lives. In the past four years alone, deaths from opioid overdoses have nearly doubled to more than 2,000 deaths in Illinois last year. In Winnebago County, more than 100 people died from an overdose for the second year in a row. While these numbers are staggering, hope is not lost. As a member of both the Kennedy Forum Illinois Leadership Council and the Rockford Regional Health Council's new Behavioral Health Leadership Team, I have seen firsthand the dedication and collaboration of the civic, faith, business and medical communities to tackle these issues. We must continue to broaden our reach to expand the movement to eliminate stigma and discrimination and find effective solutions. Recently, Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps publicly shared his own challenges with mental illness. He joined a host of other successful and well-known people who have shared their struggles. While perspectives are changing and more people are willing to share their stories, we must continue to strive harder to change how mental illness and addiction are viewed, ending the judgment and shame that still claim so many lives.